Hugo Boss Bottle Collector's Edition 2021. Let's do this. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. If you love smelling good, then you owe it to yourself to hit that subscribe and that notification button. And please do drop a like on this video. Thank you. So in this review, I am going to take a closer look at Hugo Boss. Boss Bottle Collector's Edition 2021. What a name. Some of the notes in this one are apple, black pepper and bergamot, cinnamon, chestnut and cardamom, and then we have musk and vetiver. The opening to me is really all about a super smooth blend of citrus, pepper and spices with a touch of that apple. The way the apple is blended with the brightness of the pepper and the citrus is really nice and the bergamot really pops out in a smooth but intense way. The opening almost, almost gives me a bit of Sauvage vibes with its nice brightness. It's basically a mass appealing bright and smooth opening that then transitions into a blend that is dominated by a smooth vetiver with a bit of cardamom and apple at the top and a bit of super clean musk. This to me is nothing like the original Boss Bottle and it's without a single doubt one of the best, if not the best, in the collection. There's a tiny, tiny bit of the original in it, but the rest is new and it's pretty damn good. The spicy part of it is tamed by the apple and the very musk combo is great and the whole blend is super smooth in a nice way. While it does smell great, it also feels like it's been done in one way or another before. It just does not feel original in any way. I don't think it's a unique scent, but out of the Boss Bottle editions, it's still one of the best. It smells really good, it really does. It has a fresh and super smooth touch to it that I enjoy, and it's like a mix of something cleanish and elegant with a sort of a playful vibe to it. I have not used it that much when I've been out and about, so I can't give you a detailed report on how it performs when it comes to compliments, but it does smell good, so you will most likely get positive reactions with it. The performance of it actually surprised me in a positive way. Hugo Boss fragrances on my skin rarely perform well, but this is one that is about average. But that does not mean it's good. On my skin, it dries down way too fast, and that to me is really disappointing. It's not strong, it's not super weak, but it performs well for being a Yugo Boss. This to me is more versatile than the original. It's not too heavy, nor too sweet or too anything really, which makes it a versatile kind of phrase that you can put on when you are going to the gym, to the office or whenever you want that kind of scent on you. So who should buy this fragrance? This is a tough one to answer because a lot of people will think it's generic and not enough and I get that. I do think it's so of a generic but I still enjoy it. It does remind me a bit of the original but with a completely new side to it. If you usually enjoy Hugo Boss fragrances and how a lot of them smell like then you will most likely enjoy this one. Do not get this one if you expect it to be something insanely unique, insanely strong or insanely anything really. So how am I going to rate this fragrance? I like it, I do, and it's a scent that most people will like on a man. But do I think it's something insanely unique or something that is insanely good? No. That, in combination with the performance, drags down the score. I am going to give it a strong 6. To someone out there, this will be an amazing fragrance, but to me it's nice, but it does lack that special something and I just don't feel it's unique or exciting enough. Please like this video, thank you, I really do appreciate it. Now, I would love to know if you have tried this one. Do you like it? Do you feel the same way as I do about it? Comment and let me know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.